All right, so I'm going to be covering the Access Certification Program. Uh, this is for the Access Video Exam. Uh, I looked all over YouTube, couldn't find any videos out there, so um, decided I'd make one. Um, this is just going to be going through the practice test. Um, just uh, something that you can turn on in the background while studying for the access uh, video exam. All right, so just search YouTube or search Google for access network video exam, found some practice exams. I'm just going to start going through it. All right, so the main purpose of the remote focus function is to eliminate the need for an installer to manually set the focus at the camera. Adding network surveillance cameras to an existing Ethernet network will benefit from using VLANs to keep the surveillance video separate from other network traffic, reducing network congestion. That makes sense. All right, so this is an image. It's very blurry. How can we improve the quality of this? Uh, we could up, up it to a better camera resolution. Uh, we can decrease the image compression, which will increase the quality. Which of the following general statements about illumination needs of PTZ cameras is true? The f-stop value of a lens gets higher if you zoom in. The f-stop value, again, the higher it is, the, the worse it is at collecting light. The lower value, the lower f-stop value, the better the lens is at collecting light. All right, reached the max of questions there, so we're going to go find a new practice exam. One thing that's cool is you can use, I mean, ChatGPT, recommend it for anything, ask it whatever question you can think of, treat it like Google, explore it, question it, try and break it. Um, other things I guess I'll quickly go over is kind of, there's a lot of questions about the models the access access products and the model numbers how they're labeled and understanding what they mean so try and familiarize yourself with that they have some e-learning you can do it's not super great because they're all split up into different things it's not just like a one you can't just click one video and you're you're good to study for this test you have to kind of explore different ones. There is a PDF to download that you can get from them. Download the technical guide and that's pretty much just their textbook to familiarize yourself but let's go keep looking at practice tests. format of these is so bad. Alright, we'll go with this one here. It's not terrible. Alright, so this is asking about extension knowledge for product names. So this is asking about outdoor rated products for access cameras. Dash E means environment, so it's outdoor ready. Um, there's two with E, C, and D. That's why that's the correct answer. And right here, we can see E, outdoor ready. Which of the following are common ways to protect video while using wireless network? WPA2 for your router network security, okay, and then HTTPS, all right, for security, protecting security network. Which of the following actions can be taken using the access installation display? Power up PoE cameras and taking snapshots. So the 
Access T8414 installation display will make snapshots and can power up power over Ethernet cameras. What type of camera is recommended to be used in an extremely hot environment? Hot environment, so we're talking about climate here. Uh, it's going to end in C. We go to their climate controlled. C is climate controlled. Using access camera management, which of the following can be performed? So you can apply templates to devices and you can upgrade the firmware from the actress, access camera management software. All right, so here's a picture with a lot of backlighting issues. Uh, the answer here is to you need to add additional light sources to counter the backlighting here. talked about this one already. You can increase the resolution or uh, decrease the compression. A customer is not getting the storage retention they had expected using H.264 with a certain PTZ camera on continuous guard tour. What is the likely cause? So continuous guard tour doesn't let H.264 save as much on compression. In network surveillance installation, the purpose of a switch is to forward video stream to the correct receiver within a network. A customer wants his video surveillance system to completely cover the perimeter of his property for the installer to ensure the camera system is not subject to sabotage. You want each camera to be in sight of at least one other camera. That way all of the perimeter is covered. When viewing live motion JPEG video from an access camera, if the image looks pixelated with no digital zoom, which of the following settings would best address this issue? Decreasing the image compression always improves quality. Alright, this is a drag and drop. Mix and match. Uh, all right, so outdoor ready, we know that's E, E environment, outdoor ready, vandal, V, vandal resistant, uh, network, uh, dust vibrations, that would be rugged, R, rugged. Again, this is in their product naming structure. Um, wireless network camera, I, that would just be this W1. The installer is upgrading an installation with several analog PTZ cameras using access Qline encoders. Which of the following options should be checked before proceeding? The PTZ drive that the PTZ driver is supported for that access encoder and cameras. For which purposes would a thermal network camera be vi viable alternative to a standard network camera? Choose three. So detection at daylight, detection at night, detection in smoke and light fog conditions. So thermal network is great at all three of those, detection during daylight, nighttime, and through smoke and fog. Access design tool is used for estimating bandwidth and creating a bill of materials, BOM. All right, so that's all we got for free from there. Pause for now. Actually, I'll keep going. Let's see, let's grab another. Chat GPT can give some practice tests. This 
so I do know there is one on the site. Um, we can run through that real quick. It's 40 questions. I just so happen to have a PDF of it ready to go with the answers. So let's look into that real quick. All right, how does a smaller aperture affect the image? The depth of field increases. Uh, I'm going to kind of rush through these because this has been covered, I think, before. Um, it's also, I recommend doing this yourself uh, through the Access eLearning website here, right here. Basic step toward improving cybersecurity, keep the firmware updated. When operators use the pixel counter and cameras live view, it helps them measure pixel density. Pixel counter, measuring pixel density. What kind of light typically generates orange or yellow glow? Sodium lights. Which access outdoor use? Dash E. Both those dash E ones. Environment, outdoor. Customer complaining about motion blur. What can they do to reduce it? Increase shutter speed. Faster it's taking photos, better less blur. What is the most important reason to turn off unused network services? It's actually to save on bandwidth. <clears throat> Which the following is true is design when designing a video solution protection, make sure each dead zone of each camera is covered by another camera. Talked about that earlier. When edge storage is useful, when is edge storage useful? when network connection is unreliable. I know edge storage is pretty limited though, so not much video depending on the situation. Anyway, when the network is unreliable, that's when edge storage can be useful. Which camera is ideal for detecting people, objects in complete darkness? Q1941-E. I think the reason for this is one, it's outdoor, it ends in one, which means it's low resolution, and it starts with one. So if we go to product naming, it starts with one, so it's fixed camera. It could be a thermal camera. If it's a thermal camera, that already, if it's a thermal camera with that resolution, that will be great for detecting people and objects. It's a great, great answer. Dewarping converts a spherical image into a rectangular one. Which cable type should installers use if they want to transmit video streams at a rate of one gigabyte longer? Over distances longer than 100 meters, you're going to need fiber optic cables. What unexpected effect can setting MBR maximum bitrate have on the video stream? So maximum bitrate is you're setting a max bitrate the video will send and if it goes over that you're gonna see a decrease in image quality so the image quality will decrease with that's that can happen with MBR if there's too much movement and it goes over when system designers need to keep storage requirements to a minimum the most important measures they can take to use is h264 instead of motion JPEG saves a lot of storage Event-based recording instead of continuous recording saves a lot of storage. The extension V, it's vandal resistant. Thermal camera, access thermal camera, produces images in black and white, but the images can be artificially colored to make it easier to distinguish in different temperatures. Easier to, to distinguish different temperatures. In network surveillance installation, the purpose of an unmanaged switch is to forward data to the correct device through the MAC address. Besides assisting the camera selection process, Access Site Designer can also create a bill of materials, BOM, and share the camera settings with the Access Camera Station software. What function does an IR cut filter have in daylight? It blocks near infrared right light to deliver images with natural colors. So IR cut filter have in daylight, it blocks near infra 